What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube. You know what it is. It's your boy, the Moose. Okay, so check it out. This is video number two for karaoke. Um, let's go ahead and run the intro. Song? Ready? The stars are light, are big and bright. Deep in the heart of Texas. Okay, that worked. Okay, so today's video we're going to talk about software. Um, what uh, the first video I talked about microphones, what selection of batteries to use, but I didn't get into the software of what it takes to um, be a karaoke DJ. Um, so that being said, let's get into it. All right, so. Um, the program that we that I'm running is um, probably been heard in the DJ community a lot, and um, I haven't found any other program to work great besides YouTube. Um, I do use YouTube a lot too. Um, highly suggested um, if you're going to run KDJ. Um, a lot of people, if you don't want to pay the money for the um, for the care fund too. You can just run your uh, uh, karaoke off of uh, YouTube. Uh, you will find a lot more. Um, uh, there are some places. Well, there are some tracks on YouTube that you can uh, get a hold of that you can't get in care fund too. Um, but care fund too has over. 300,000 hits, so, um, I don't see why you couldn't find it. All right, let's, let's get into the program. Check it out now. Um, on this, um, I'm going to show you the backup that I have that I use for my karaoke. Um, not only do I use it for my karaoke, but I use it for when I am at a wedding, it is my cocktail. My cocktail kit is what I call it. Um, it's going to have its own speaker, so um, I'm thinking about doing that instead of buying a bass. I'm not too sure what I want to do yet, but we'll figure this out here. Um, let's go ahead and take you and show you what I've got. As you can see, it's Carafun 2. You click on it. And it'll pull up and pull it back. This is what it looks like when it loads up. And this is what it looks like when it's loaded up. Let's see? Care of fun player. And then here are the um, different uh, things you can do. Um, you can get country, duet, jazz, love songs, um, musical musicals on Broadway. You can get pop, you can get rock, blues, folk, dance, disco, all the retro rock and roll, pop. Um, you can get stuff off your computer. Um, it's, uh, I would go with what they got. Um, so we can maximize this and then we'll just, uh, you can log into Carafun. So let's go ahead and log in. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. 
and they're logging in. Now it's going to tell me that um, it's going to um, tell me that I have to subscribe. Um, I only buy it when I'm ready to use it, but um, you put the credit card information in and it doesn't charge you every month. It only charges you for the month that you use it. Um, it's $9.99 for a month or if you want to rent it for the weekend, it's $6.99. Uh, the weekend is two days. Um, I don't under don't know what your preference would be but um let's go ahead and i'll show you what it looks like um i am going to mute it so there's no volume coming out but i want to show you what it looks like so what happened is pull up here and then you pull this up and you can maximize it to the screen and as you can see, it goes to the top of the screen and it shows you who made it. Now this is where you sing. Um, as you can see, as you sing, it gets pink. Um, this is sung by two people, so hopefully they'll show the part where both people sing. Okay, here it is. You see, there's two different parts, so two people can sing this song at the same time, right here and right here, uh, pink and blue. Um, yes, so that's pretty much what a song looks like if two people are singing, and that's why it's important to have two microphones devoted, um, or more. Um, it's just a demo, so I mean, it's 30 seconds, but... Um, so you get to understand and then you escape and it goes back to the main screen now um, the reason why you have a secondary computer is because of this um, now let me show you this um, you come here and um, Go to YouTube, and then you type in, you type in, um, let's just say that we're going to type in, um, two, it's going to show, two, two legit, two, Q U I C T K. You're gonna type in this. So anytime that you type in a song, um, okay, hold on. Let's do this. Um, let's put two L I V E two live crew. Pop. That. K A. R. A. Ah. O K E. Clean. Clean version. So this is what I'm, I'm going to show you this clean version. So you put clean version in, and it'll see that. All right. So what we're going to look for is this. Um, as you can go through here, you can see that the different songs now. Um, the clean version is Pop That Coochie, uh, unfortunately, and the dirty version is Pop the Pussy. Um, pardon my French, but that's, see, the difference. The difference between the songs, that's the clean version, Pop the Coochie, and the dirty version is Pop That Pussy. Uh, uh, this is the only one that I really wanted to show you because 
I know how nasty they want to be. They do have the clean, um, to do clean versions. Now, um, as you can see, as you go down, um, a lot of it isn't clean. Um, they do have the clean version of a lot of songs, but I... I wanted to show you this before I show you another song. Okay, so that's that. Um, and all you have to do is this. Um, when you're doing karaoke, you just raise the first part and you can keep that. Um, here we go. This is the one I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> everybody's familiar with this song. Okay, so this is the this is the clean version of God's plan. Now, I'm going to mute the, the volume on this. So you get an idea. Okay. This is the idea. So this is what it would look like when you play it. And this is why it's important to have a second laptop. And I want you to see the version so you know what I'm talking about. This is what happens when you're singing it. Um, as you can see, as you're singing the video, um, the red comes up. That means that's the part you sing. You don't sing the white part. You sing with the red as it goes along. And then, uh, so, um, uh, the sing key karaoke is pretty good, but it's expensive. Um, that the, the least expensive program to use is actually Carafun to unless you get your own CDs um, now that's the old version of doing it is actual purchasing the CD I just wanted to show you this part where um, Cardi B comes in, so you can see what I'm talking about, how it's clean. Um, yeah, so this is, um, this is why I use this. Now, when you're in a high school setting, and you do schools, elementary schools, or any kind of karaoke, um, your best bet is to just go to YouTube and do it because you can get the clean versions of the songs. Now this is highly suggested. Um, very highly suggested. You need to know your songs. You need to know your music. Don't just assume that you know the song. See? Okay. Let me pause it right here. Right here, if you notice, watch. It didn't show it. If you notice that word right there, you see how the asterisk is there? Okay, this is telling me this is a clean version. Um, it won't say that word. It won't. Um, just to let you know that that um, it won't show the word. You've seen it to live crew, it showed the word. So it won't show the word if it's clean. Um, let's get into the card at B section. I know the song's clean because I've played it before. I've sung it myself, so... She's about to come up.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. I didn't get it. Uh, so that's pretty much how you um, do it. And then you can click um, uh, the different songs that you want to pick. But um, like I said, um, this whole YouTube um, thing is pretty good. Um, it suggested that um, you don't use YouTube. Um, but when you're in a pinch and, and um, now let's do this one. Let's um, say, um, let's do that. D O D P L A N T L E A N. I'm going to say, oh, it's going to be down here. I don't think it's going to show God's plan clean. But anyway, this is where um, you type it in up here. And it doesn't show you. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, it gives you the artist. And it gives you the different um, songs. And it shows you that there's like a God's plan clean. There's 142 results. Um, as you can see, as you scroll down, it gives you different, different songs. And this is the one thing that, um, it struggles with this program is it'll show the songs up on top so if you type in your song um, this one says it's explicit uh, it will say well not really it will say explicit on all the ones that are really dirty but for some reason um, it does it with this but not all the other songs and I know they're not all clean um, can't tell me that um, let's do this just to prove it to you. Two. Okay. Now, as you can see. Um, the two songs that pop up, um, Me So Horny on Luke's side, um, that's, uh, Luke's version of Me So Horny. Um, is, um, these are pretty good, um, attributes, but is, if you could see what I'm talking about, when you type in a song, um, it'll come in, uh, the name of the song will come in, and then the artist will come in. The duration of the song, the property of the song, and the location of the song. Now, as you can see, the, the locations of the songs, if you look at them, they'll say Carafun Web. Now, let's do that real quick. Let me show you Carafun Web, uh, Carafun's website. I don't have them up there. I thought I did. Okay, I have it there. Carafun 2, click on that. It'll take you right to carafun.com and it'll take you to the song catalog. Uh, list of songs made famous by Unlimited. Okay, so up here. It gives you a catalog that you can look at. It shows you subscribe. It shows you the login. It shows you the apps. Let's click on apps. Now, the thing I like about this is it is used for Mac, Windows, and Web Player. You can use the Web Player. Um, 
I suggest that you download it on your, uh, you can even put it on your TV. Um, Android TV or uh, Fire Stick TV. Uh, you can put it on. Uh, you can put it on your iPhone. You can put it on your iPad, or you can put it on your Android phone. So it, it, the list goes on where you can put this at. Um, the catalog. Let's look at the catalog. This is the catalog. As you can see, the different catalogs. There's playlists. There's top. There's news releases. There's new fav my favorites, and there's uh, gen genres. And as you can see, there are different um, different ways you can go. Um, this is the list is like see all the playlists. Let's click on it it's just to give you an idea of what the playlists look like on Carafun too. So it just um, um, you can do the weddings and girl power and California and just. There's all kinds of different ideas um, for your uh, events. So if you're having uh, you're having a Disney party and and you just click on this, let's just show you what I'm talking about. Um, Circle of Life, um, Life is Too Short, Burning Love um, from Lilo and Stitch. See, it just your Devil in Disguise by Elvis Presley. So it it, it shows you, uh, it has Bell Song, May Fun, uh, Beauty and the Beast, you can sing it. Um, so it's, it's just different, different things you can do for different ideas. Um, then you even have this section. Um, this is the One Hit Wonder. And as you can see, um, hey Mickey, hey Mickey, hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey Mickey, that's that song, that song right here. So it, it's just, you know, there's different ways you can go with this. Um, let's show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so, so let's just put this scrap button. This is what it looks like. Um, our offers for individuals and professionals. Okay, so let's look at the party pass. The party pass is two days. It's five ninety nine. Used to be six, so they changed the price, and that's for two days. Then you have the monthly subscription, unlimited access anytime, um, instant access online to offline playlists. Sing, singer management, uh, yeah, you can do singer management, uh, you could do uh, custom keys and tempos, um, different different ideas there, and then you could buy a gift card for somebody um, to, uh, yeah, so that's what you can do there, and then down here, there's this one, uh, this is called the weekly pro pass, uh, it's unlimited access for seven days. Um, I suggest you pay the month, not the weekly. And then you have the professionally monthly subscription, which has changed. It used to be 50 bucks. Now it's up to there. But um, And then you have Care Fund for Business. Um, you can contact them and... And if you have a business, you can set that up. But just remember the name is Care Fun. This video finds you. Um, like I said, um, I didn't show you the other computer, but I don't, I don't really need to. You get the idea. Um, now, the reason you have another computer for this is because uh, if you're... <clears throat> If you're DJing a party and they ask you um, how they're wording, they, the certain words, they're like, um, yeah, um, we need you to DJ um, and do karaoke when somebody wants it. So to make it smoothless and smooth, um, uh, DJ Unstoppable carries a um, a pad and I do too and 
I suggest any DJ that if you're doing a gig, make sure you always, always, at every gig, carry a notepad. The notepad can be used in a lot of ways. What you're going to do is if you're just running a karaoke, um, if you're running karaoke straight, then you can go ahead and um, leave the, the pad on your table or however your setup is. And this is why a facade is, um, if you're a uh, karaoke DJ, don't have a facade. Don't have a facade. You're not going to need one. Um, I, I guarantee you, when you're doing karaoke, they're not going to look at your setup. They're going to look at for the TV. Now, if you do have a facade, make sure that you have your TV and you have a place to put your book. And you need to make sure that you can get a hold of that book. And that's why I suggested that you don't have a facade. And you, um, you get a little extra extended table or um, somehow you want to do it. Um, but that is a pro tip. Um, pro tip. Being a KDJ, we don't want to so far ourselves off to the world. Um, a lot of DJs do it because they don't want to be messed with. Um, I've, I've got their numbers on that. Because um, they feel that they're a DJ and they're not um, as uh, Terry, uh, as um, Cleveland Terry had put it, um, are we, a, what was that, a jukebox, yeah, are we a, a, a jukebox? And the answer is yes, we are a jukebox. We're playing what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. We could go on our own, go to a gig, and play what we want to play, and not have nobody on the dance floor. But yet we drop the bomb and play all hits. Nobody's dancing. What do you do then? Because you're playing the wrong songs. Don't just go in and put a line dance on thinking you're going to get everybody's attention because guess what's going to happen? You're going to have an utter shock and fail. A lot of um, uh, a lot of DJs, they do that. They, they say the first thing they do is throw a line dance on and guess what's going to happen? You're going to utterly fail. Um, and my girl, DJ Elixir, will tell you that. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out because um, it's, it's something that y'all need to understand. That um, when you put these videos out, I mean, when you do these karaoke gigs, or you do the DJ and with the karaoke, you have a backup system. Because that backup system is going to be your lifesaver. And then that backup system, what you're going to do with it. What you're going to do with it is you're going to. You're going to use your backup system to. Um, run uh, you're going to use that backup system to run uh, your karaoke um, uh, you have a backup system anyways because um, you don't know what's going to happen at your at your gig um, it's highly unlikely that's going to happen well, there's been some cases that um, I've gotten close. But let me show you this. Um, I got it already pulled up. Let me show you. The uh, Latitude E6400. If you do your uh, processing, it is a Dell. Um, I got this from... 
someplace, but I use this. As you can see, I have Carafun too. Oh. I have Carafun too on it, and um, and uh, so see, I have Serato DJ Pro. On here I have it on here too um, just for uh, just in cases but so what I do is as you can see it's got um, Serata Pro and um, Microsoft Edge, but I Google. Uh, that's, um, those are the things that you're going to need um, for your backup. Uh, the The deal with this is, is this will comfortably do what I need it to do. Um, it plugs into the TV and it plays. Um, now, uh, the TV that I have isn't uh, a smart TV, so I have to plug in by the wire um, until I get my new smart TV. Um, it's irrelevant for me to do it, so that's why I do it this way. Um, it's cheaper um, in the long run. Um, to run off a second system. So what I'll do is I'll plug this in. And like I said, I'll say. And it'll just, I'll keep it minimized. And then minimize it. And then like I said, you have to subscribe for it. But um, it's got the different songs. This one's already programmed on. Um, it says, but up here you'll read what it says. It says, you have no active Carafun subscription on your account. Um, my account being, it's across the board. So it follows you. So that's just a another pro tip. I know. And I want to say this. None of my products is Apple. I have an iPad that I use that I used to have care of fun on, but it's outdated. That's why I don't like Apple. That I'd be honest with you. I don't. Because um, of the simple fact that uh, I bought a second generation iPad mini long ago and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I updated it I took out my old information I couldn't I couldn't get into a certain app so I figured the smart way to do it is go ahead and redo it. And when I did, it erased everything off my iPad. And I had Carafun 2 on it. It erased everything. Carafun 2 was working fine on it. But then when I went to update it, it wouldn't let it update. It stayed the same. So then I go back and I was like, okay, well, I'll put all the stuff that I had on there on it. And it's telling me that it doesn't take any software that's bad. But yet I had it on there, but yet it won't let me load up new one. So it's a catch-22. Um, that's just a warning. If you have iPads... Or anything like that. Um, make sure you get the newest generations that you can get. Um, there's nothing wrong with owning it. Uh, I don't have Apple products because uh, I just don't like them. 
that's just a uh, that's just neither here nor there. I mean, people have their just preferences of what they like and what they don't like, and I just don't feel like oh, you go ahead and leave a negative comment below on all you want. I just, I'll tell you straight up, I'm not going to pay $1,500 for a laptop when I buy a perfect good laptop, 500 So, uh, do the math. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. I mean, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on a laptop that I only use for one thing. To DJ? Just to DJ? And if I did buy a laptop like that, it wouldn't be that. I would buy something else. There's a lot I can use with that $1,500 or whatever it costs. I don't know. I don't I don't get into it. I know I spent $500 for my my uh, Lenovo. Lenovo IdealPad L340. And it's fine. I ain't had no problem with it. And I won't go get me an, a Mac because somebody tells me to. Um, I just don't like them. Uh, anyway, so that's... That's my rant. Subscribe to my channel. Sorry, it's off. Subscribe to my channel. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. Hit the like button if you like what you hear. And if you don't like, go ahead and leave a comment below about my Mac rant, because I know that's what you're going to do. Go ahead and put a negative on it. I don't care. But just remember, it's all about what you know. And that being said, if you don't know, now you know. And no one is half the battle. Peace.